Hello, Mr. Navigator. Recently, it has been pointed out that so many junior officers, they failed to answer to inspector the difference between safety depth and safety contour. In this video, I am going to explain the difference between safety depth and safety contour, also the practical use in AGDs. We must understand safety depth first. Safety depth is the depth which is considered safe for vessel to pass over. So easily we understand it must be directly dependent on draft of your vessel and the UKC policy of your company. Now look, to find out this safety depth, what are the things you will consider? Of course your vessel's draft and then dynamic squat and the required safety margin to comply with the UKC policy. Say for instance your vessel draft is 10 meter and the effected squat is 1.5 meter and the safety margin required to comply with UKC is 2.5 meter. So your safety depth is 14 meter. By almost all safety management company, safety depth is recommended as the safety contour value. Remember, depth contour means the line joining over the same depth. So in your case, safety depth value or safety contour is 14 meter. Now the question comes, what is the difference between safety depth and safety depth contour? As per EGDIS performance standard IMO MSC Resolution 232, EGDIS should emphasize safety contour over other contour on the display. Regarding safety depth, ISO SPP2 publication paragraph 3.2.2 says soundings equal to or less than the safety depth selected by the mariner are made more conspicuous than deeper soundings. Here comes the difference between safety depth and safety contour though both of them are having the exact same value. Which means while vessel crossing safety contour the egg disc will generate an anti grounding alarm. But there is no alarm associated with safety depth, rather it is a difference of visible spot sounding. Depth above selected safety depth value are shown light compared to depth below safety depth value. Here as the safety depth chosen as 14 meter, so more than 14 meter depth are shown lighter compared to less than 14 meter depth. As we said before, our safety contour value should be same as safety depth value, which is here 14 meter. But look, in this you will find only few depth contours to avoid clumsiness. 5 meter, 10 meter, 15 meter and so on. And again, as per ISO S52 publications paragraph 3.2.2. If the safety contour selected by the mariner is not available in the ENC, the EGDIS should default to next deeper contour. Our safety depth here is 14 meter and there is no 14 meter contour in ENC. So if we put 14 meter in safety contour, it will choose automatically nearest deeper one which is 15 meter. So if we summarize, we found basically two differences between safety depth and safety contour. One, safety contour is associated with anti-grounding alarm whereas safety depth does not associate it with any alarm. Two, there is possible safe water beyond safety contour as there is not available depth contour to show for each depth and, and egg this choose nearest deep contour in such case. But in case of safety depth, it is very much certainly spotted and less than which is to be considered unsafe. Now let's choose an example to understand this thing clearly. Look here, safety depth is set to 7 meter. So all sport depths below 7 meter are highlighted dark in color. Look, safety contour is set to 10 meter because there is no 7 meter contour available in ENC. As the safety depth is 7 meter, so you can see the passage plan crossed the safety control line and it passes over those areas where depth is more than 7 meter. Here, once the vessel will cross the safety control line, EGDIS will generate anti grounding alarm and the navigator should be aware of the safety depth ahead. To get clear idea about the 4 color shade and 2 color shade available in ENC, please watch this end screen video.